Hi, thanks for joining me today. Today we want to talk about fuel additives. Are they worth it? What's the real cost? Are some better than others? And when you measure it out with the cost and the return on that investment you get, are they even worth it in the first place? Those who watch the channel know that I promote a, a fuel additive called Fuel Ox. Um, some people have said, you know, that's pretty expensive. Even if it does work, I don't think I want to spend that much on a fuel additive. So let's break that down today. Talk about some of the more popular fuel additives and what the cost per gallon is on them. Now we're going to do it, break it down at a truck stop price and then at a Walmart price. Most drivers are going to end up buying their products at a truck stop, which is going to cost more, but we'll do it both ways just to make it fair and find out the truth on this, what, it, what, what the cost really is. Um, a lot of people have tried it since the interview I did with the, with the founder of the company, and a lot of people have switched. Uh, you've probably maybe even seen some people talk about it on some different YouTube channels. Uh, the most common response I get is, I don't know if it's helping my truck or not. I don't know if it's helping my fuel mileage or my emission system, but the truck just runs better. I can tell the difference in the way the truck runs, so I'm going to continue to run it. You drive your truck every day, you know what it's all about. So uh, I would encourage you to give it a try. The cost is really reasonable. I'll give you a promotion code to save 15% off all your orders. Um, so give it a try. So let's first talk about diesel clean in the gray bottle. Uh, in the truck stop, the price works out to typically about nine cents a gallon. Walmart uh, prices, we can, we can get that down to about six cents a gallon. Not too bad. Not too bad, far cheaper than buying it in the truck stop. The next we got the House Meaner Power Cleaner. Not the wintertime treatment. The one that's designed to use in the summertime to supposedly give you better fuel economy and performance. In the truck stop price, we're looking at about eight cents a gallon. Walmart, we're looking just about half that. Went to walmart.com, found it for about half the price of what they sell it for in the truck stop. Let's talk about that Lucas upper cylinder lubricant. Probably the most popular additive on the market right now. Uh, what is that in the truck stuff? You buy it usually in the gallon and it's about eight cents a gallon to treat your fuel. If you buy it in the truck stop at Walmart, about six and a half cents a gallon. Now, of course, these prices are gonna be slightly different from other people. Maybe you buy it in bulk, maybe you buy it two cases at a time. Uh, you know, these are rough numbers, average of what I've found in the truck stop and on walmart.com. So next, uh, Hot Shot Secret seems to be pretty popular now. They have two different products, the Everyday Fuel Treatment and the Extreme Diesel. So let's break down both of those and see about where they come in. Now, the Everyday is about four cents a gallon to treat your fuel in the truck stop and about three cents a gallon if you buy it at Walmart. And we're gonna come back and talk just a little bit about fuel additives in general at the end and um, kind of some intricacies that you probably wanna know. Extreme diesel, we're talking, we're talking about the same price in the truck stop or at Walmart. And that's about six cents a gallon to treat your fuel with that. A liquid muscle. We're talking in the truck stop about four cents a gallon and at Walmart about three and a half cents a gallon. Then the last two here are a little bit different than the rest of them. These last two are the only ones that also contain the catalyst which uh, gives you a lower burn temperature on the fuel and should help you uh, have less emission systems problems. So let's talk about fuel ox and then the main competitor to that one, which would be Pittsburgh Power Max Mileage. These two are, you know, considerably different than the other ones. So fuel ox, now if you use the 15% off code that I give you here in the video, you're going to be at about five cents a gallon to treat your fuel. Either way, you can't buy it at walmart.com. You're not gonna get a better price online than what you get with uh, my promotion code. 
So then let's talk about the Pittsburgh Power max mileage. Uh, you're at, whoops, 0 0.075. You're at about seven and a half cents per gallon to treat your fuel. Substantially higher than most of them for the Pittsburgh Power max mileage and about half as concentrated as the fuel ox. This one small bottle uh, is, is about twice as concentrated as the Pittsburgh Power Max mileage. So now fuel additives in general, you take, you know, all the way up from here to here, and you're talking straight fuel additive. You're talking about cetane booster, most of them have a cetane booster in them, and uh, some detergents, and maybe some lubricity agents. But those big bottles you see, most of that bottle is not actually what you need to have in the product. There's a lot of fillers in those. Uh, marketing and advertising is a real thing with fuel additives. It's a very competitive space and everybody has their brand loyalty. And we'll probably see a lot of that in the comments from this video. That's fine. Um, but also know that those fillers that go into those products it can be, some things can be detrimental to your engine that you don't want to put in there like methyl ether and glycol ether, both drying agents that can effectively take away some lubricity uh, from the product and from your fuel system, both, you know, very much drying agents. So that alone, I mean, you could take a bottle of the house or the diesel clean and take away all the additive in it, not the additive, but the, the filler in it and shrink that bottle down, you know, way smaller. But in marketing and advertising, there's something called perceived value. So if you get in one gallon jug, you perceive that you're getting more of a value from that product, you know, versus its competitors that are packaged, oh, I'm getting more in this gallon jug than I am in this 16 ounce bottle. And that's just not true. There's a lot of fillers in these products. So kind of leads you down to these two uh, are considerably different than the rest. And, uh, for cost effectiveness, you know, my money is on the fuel ox every time. I use it, I like it, uh, it works for me. And the price is cheaper and it's more concentrated than the Pittsburgh Power Max mileage. So um, if you're looking to buy this product and save 15% off every order, go to fuelox.com. And when you're uh, ready to place your order, use the promotion code DIY. DIY semi, that's going to get you off 15% off your first order and every order after that. They also have some great anti-gel products. If you've not seen the videos on those products, go back and I'll put a link in the description below to those uh, videos. They're also coming out with a new line of grease, uh, oil additive, and spray lubricant. Also knowing the cost of these, okay, diesel clean, nine cents a gallon to treat your fuel. Well, can you measure the increase in fuel mileage and see if it comes out to justify that nine cents a gallon? Uh, that's an important part when choosing a fuel additive. Does the results uh, at least give you back the cost of the product and then anything above and beyond that? To make it, it's gotta be cost effective to put in your truck. So I encourage people to try different things. And yes, perhaps everybody's results might be a little different than the next guy. Trucks are different. My uh, 1999, year model 127 Detroit is going to be different than a 2020 DD15. That's just the way it is. So try for yourself, measure it out, try this product. Um, check out the links to the, in the description below and uh, the videos on the screen right now and have a good day.